I know you might not think this is daddy issues because we don't have the normal intro, but rest assured, it's us. We got a new intro for you for the summer. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Listen. Well, I see you staring at me in my Gucci jeans, no wonder. Maybe I'm dressed to kill, so I'll bury you six feet under. I stay ill, don't need a vaccine. Ain't nobody else in the world like me. I'm trying to chill, trying to have myself a hot that summer. Left wrist, rolly. Right hand, scrolly. Yeah, I'm a dad, no dad bar, though. You can come through, but you so can't white. come close. Myself, made it by myself, yep. I'm fine, man. I need to buy myself an island. But I'll never buy a yacht, because I got friends who's, who's got, got them. them. Look at my whip and look at it real quick, because every year I get a new one. From Aston to Bentley to Rolls Royce to Porsche, while smoking a Trinidad Cuban. Should have been one Says she's vexed and waxed, okay. I'm just trying to relax, go away. Look at my hat, tell me what's that say? Hot dad, somewhere and I'm here to stay. I see you staring at me in my Gucci jeans, no wonder. Baby, I'm dressed to kill, so I'll bury you six feet under. I stay ill, don't need a vaccine. Ain't nobody else in the my favorite like part coming out. I'm trying to chill, trying to have myself a hot dad summer. If I meant it, I said it. If I said it, I meant it. I'm a menace on the media. Don't ever forget it. I'm going up like my credit. Going up like the credit. 2024, baby, I'll be the president. Baby, I'm a pay a Patreon. All that really means is I'll take no shot. You can follow me and pay a Patreon. While I'm shadow Ben, I'll tell you, yeah, talk. I see you staring at me in my Gucci jeans. No wonder. Baby, I'm dressed to kill, so I'll bury you six feet under. Don't need a vaccine, ain't nobody else in the world like me. I'm trying to chill, trying to have myself a hot death summer. All right, there it is, folks. That's it, summer. the debut, right? Daddy Issues is officially launching and calling 2021 summer a hot dad summer. Word up, it's here. Word up. That song was by uh, Thad, right? By Valid Point Music. Uh, it's That song is officially out on Spotify as we speak, so go stream it. Uh, it's literally a real song. We had a real song made it's for the show. Um, Very talented guy. Very talented. So go stream that. Valid Point is the artist. Um, it's on Spotify. and We thank you for that to our uh, loyal listener. And we are deeming 2021 a hot dad summer. Everyone's like hot girl summer, hot guy summer. And we're like, no, no, no. Here at Daddy Issues, we live the hot dad summer mentality. Word up, right? Enough of vilif- villainizing. Is that the word? Yeah. Villainizing. Vilifying. Vilifying? Or, no, villainizing. I don't villainizing know. Villainizing the, the man. The straight white dad. No, yeah, fucking <laughs> A. Now it's be a hot dad summer. It's time for us to take it back, bitches. Remember that. It's enough already. Yeah. Get your dad bods <laughs> out on the beach. Get, get your these flip hats. flops get out. Get these hats. So if you're just listening. Oh, we, wait, and if you want to wear cargo shorts, fucking A, wear cargo wear shorts. Wear those cargo shorts with flip flops and socks to the beach. Right. And Do ha- it. And if you want to go crazier, have the fucking phone on the horizontal on the belt on the side. Have it with the belt, the fanny pack, but not no. the cool fanny pack, the no. old fanny pack that's not stylish. But the, be- but the phone has to be on the side. The phone in the side in the holster so you can quick yep. access. Right. Boom. You, you get it. Fuck me. I'll call somebody. Wear your big unstylish glasses to the beach. Wear the, 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 the a, trucker hat. Me, that's not me. No, because you're the hot dad. I'm the hot dad. I mean, weird right. that I'm calling you hot and I'm your son. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's not an attraction thing. It's a mentality. It's right. a way it's of an life. Attitude. It's a lifestyle. It's, a, it's an attitude. So if you're just listening, um, you should be watching, obviously. But we are wearing our new line of merch, which are hats for the summer. Very cool hats. And it says Hot Dad Summer. And so if you want to live the lifestyle of John and Braun in summer 2021, and you want to have a Hot Dad Summer, you have to have the hat. It's available now at our website, daddyissuesthepodcast.com slash shop um so go check that out there's only very limited re- very reasonably priced too <laughs> yes they are the 20- 24.99 no, very reasonably priced um there's only a limited quantity so they're gonna sell out and once they're out they're gone and they're forever. good they're good material uh it says hot dad somewhere on the front on the on the back it says daddy issues so you can still rep the rep the uh the squad the fam and w- yeah, I mean, we're just, we're living a hot am dad I summer lifestyle. Am I off or am I wearing it? You can do whatever you want. Is my ha- it's a hair going to be all fucked up? Is my hair fucked up? No, but mine is now. 
Here, I'll fix it. What? That's love. Good. Well, good. Good. All good. Yep. Good. All right. Here we go. What what is what does being a hot dad mean to you? <laughs> I know you should ask mom what that means. Right? I, I just feel like so when I don't know, I think it's a confidence. I think it's knowing like you're you feel like you're in your prime, you're in a good position, you're healthy, you're fit, you 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 know, you got the wherewithal and the knowledge and your kids are now a little more grown, so you could do what you want and And it's also like a fuck you to the world. It's like I don't know if it's a fuck no, you. No, but I like I feel like as a dad what makes dads great is like they will wear the cargo shorts. They will wear the phone. I will not. They, but what I'm saying is like they don't care what people think about them because they're like, I already have my wife. I already have my kids. I already have my life. I don't care what people think about me. Yeah, I still think it's important to look good for, your, for yourself and for your spouse. Right, I for do. yourself and your spouse, but not for like the world. Yeah, but I don't think anyone should give a shit what other people think about you. Period. That's what I'm saying. Period. That's, right. But whether you're a hot dad or not, I don't think that's my whole motto. Dude, who gives a shit what someone thinks about you? Yeah. So I'm saying if that's the mo- that's but I'm the not saying become obese. Dad. I'm saying because no, that's unhealthy. Not. I'm saying got to be healthy. But on the same token, I think 100 percent you should. Uh, it'll be it'll be a good summer. I think it's a good I think it's a good um, thing you creative thing you came out came up with. Um, you know, I, I think it's a fun thing. It'll be fun. Yeah, and we and do I it. love this song, Bronnie. It's fucking just so you know. You got to listen to the song a couple of times, guys, because if you are Patreon listener, if you are a, f- a loyal follower, you understand whole things. The words are so chosen specifically. Well, the lyrics were written about you. Right. The song was right. written for it's you. It's phenomenal. So if you listen to like buying you my own island, um, I'm not taking the vaccine, you know, all this good stuff, you know. <laughs> no, it's all great stuff. It's it's so, you know, it's awesome. Even down to the watch on my left side, the phone on the right, scroll, you my cars. <laughs> I love it. It's fucking great. The guy's talented. I, yeah, I, and, and the beat is a killer fucking beat. Yeah, so you, I mean, it's the song for the summer for sure. So every Daddy Issues listener has we're gonna to be get streaming that all summer. Top forty, we're gonna get top forty. Yeah, we're gonna go on whatever you said, Casey Kasem or whatever. Well, Casey Kasem, yeah, but that's old. But but we're gonna get it. We gotta get. Apparently, it. someone said that Ryan Seacrest is the new Casey Kasem. Correct. So I agree okay. with that. I do agree with that. So if anybody knows Ryan Seacrest, let's get it out there on Z100. Yeah. I mean, it deserves to be on it. But also, we have a music video that'll be dropping on Memorial Day to celebrate officially oh the launch of summer. Um, I don't so know we how go, hot I mean, that is. We go all out for you guys. We literally, people were like, we want hats. We want hats for the summer. I go, and normally someone would just put like daddy issues on a hat and then sell it. But we were like, no, we have to do and a whole. serious embroidered. Oh, um, no, it's an embroidered hat. It's not just like yeah, printed on yeah, it. Yeah, it's a really nice hat and it's got great colors. It's really well done, Ronnie. I, I, no, I give this was my this you. is my hat that I took out of it, and Banks already got to it. Look, so it's already dirty because Banks you can chewed wash on it. it. I know you can wash it. So Sell that to somebody for nineteen ninety nine to use one or fifty nine ninety nine because I've worn it. It's touched my head, and it's got Banks's uh, germs on it, so it'll sell for seventy nine. People pay for like a Justin Bieber shirt that he wore. They'll pay like thousands of dollars. I don't know if I'm at that level yet. You got to send Thad a, a hat for free. I already did. He has one. You the man, Bronny. Yeah. You the man. It literally is already with him. <clears throat> so we're very excited. So we got a little bit more filming doing that, but the video is great um, that Bronny's putting together, and the music is phenomenal, and it's right. It's literally, it, it sounds a little narcissistic because like, I love the song because it's about me, but I love the song because the fucking beat and the creativity of how he took everything together between you and him talking and him being a, a loyal follower and listener to put the words together is crazy. Yeah. No, crazy. And, and each time I listen, I find something different. Because you got to listen to more than once. Yes, you do. You but do. Dad literally is, the, he's like, it's just a, objectively like an amazing song. And he's, I'm like, he goes, but that's not, that's not, I'm not trying to be narcissistic. It's just a great song. I'm like, well, it is a song written about you. So of no, course you're going to love it. No, but it's no, the but beat it is. that's I agree. great. It's objectively great. a great song. You like, you, it immediately gets you moving, the head bopping, whether you're a good dancer or not. It's just a great fucking song. Yeah. And now you have to watch the video to see what he just the did. The head bopping back and forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, well, I mean, I, I also feel like this summer is going to be a um, good summer. People are going to be out partying, like because it's finally things are open. The country is basically Why? back what, to normal. What happened now. in the past? Uh, there's a little thing called COVID. A little thing. Yeah. But I feel like this summer, people, it's going to be like too crazy. People are going to go too overboard and too party because everyone's been so cooped up that now it's, uh, uh, it's going to be like a summer of love kind of thing. Fucking A. Which live, is going to be enjoy, good. Enjoy, baby. Do you live once? Enjoy the ride. Part of me, though. So in Florida, we've been back to normal for six months now, right? 
completely normal before anywhere in the country. I'm kind of like pissed that now the rest of the country is opening back up. Like people in New York, I see friends on their Instagram stories and stuff. They're like out at bars and clubs inside in New York now. And I'm kind of like, no, that's our thing. Like we are the partiers in Florida now. You guys still should be <laughs> no, shut no, down. Listen, I'm listen. like jealous, not jealous. I'm, I'm like, that's my thing. We started by way, it. By the way, they can try all they want. Still not Florida. It yeah. doesn't matter. You know, you could put a lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. Yeah, like I was at the wharf for Lauderdale York. last night, and let me tell you, there is no place in the country like that. No. Just in terms of the people that are there and the energy and the vibe, it's just crazy. So, you know, I was, you know, Bryce just graduated, just got back from New Orleans and um, New Orleans. New Orleans. And we had a great time. Proud of Bryce Boo. Great, great, great time. But I got to tell you, fucking New Orleans. New Orleans. Shithole. Oh, no. yeah. Shit. <sighs> Fucking hole. Sorry for any listeners that live there. I apologize, guys. Even if you live there, you have to admit it. No, it's a shithole. I don't know what to say. But, Ronnie, I'm telling you, first of all, I felt unsafe. And I'm and I'm a pretty tough guy. I, I don't fear those things. No, the whole city is sketch. Like, no. wherever you go is sketchy. No, it was always sketchy. It's now unsafe. There's a big difference. We used to feel like, all right, it's like, it's a, it's a circus. It's, and it's sketchy. Like just a bunch of drunk people. It's, um, but it is, it is unsafe it is disgusting it is dirty it is but it is fun and it does have a lot of character and the food is great but and it's like a good part every fucking road is is just damaged and destroyed every road like i feel like i'm the third world you you don't feel like you're in america all i know is i'm glad to be back bryce is coming home in a week great time a lot of fun but i gotta tell you if i never saw new orleans again new orleans i would never i don't honestly i don't care i'm being honest I, i have no desire to ever go back to that place I'd go back for Jazz Fest for like if I met friends, but the thing is, we just would go so often. If you if you go like once every five years for a weekend, it's yeah, probably we're going, great. We were there two months ago. I've literally been there two times already in twenty twenty one, and that's too many times for five years. And I've already been there in six yeah. months two times. It's disgusting. It is it is so gross. Canal in the French Quarter. This show is honestly half of the show is just a New Orleans hate show because we literally <laughs> hate on New Orleans I don't so much. Hate this it. Show. I don't hate it because. I had a great time. I just think it's just dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. It is. That's all. But, but honestly, I don't hate it. most cities in America now are dirty, dangerous, and That's disgusting. That's correct. That's correct. Ex- Triple D, Dinos Drivings and Dives, dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. New York, dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. Chicago, dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. Yep. San Francisco, LA. Yep. Not Miami. Detroit. Well, Detroit always been dirty, disgusting, and dangerous. Dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. Or dirty, dangerous, and disgusting. That's what you just or said. Or dirty, disgusting, yeah. dangerous. Okay. Or triple D. We'll just say the cities are triple D. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Bronny, what, what do we have? Uh, I, we been, I feel like we haven't been in touch with our, we haven't gone live in a while. Did we do it last week? I know the Bronx was taking a lot of time, and that's coming to an end. Bronx is coming to an end soon. We, we did go live last week um, before you left, remember, with Burke and Hallie, but you've been away, so... Right, Sorry, but we're here. Five days. We're here. And how did um how did the last weeks that we had the Patreon and then we had the one that was a little argument? How did that one take off? With well, the, right. Uh, so so the last episode, as I'm sure you guys, as our listeners know, was a very heated episode. Uh, the whole thing was pretty much just us arguing. This one is going to be the opposite of that. This is just summer. We're hanging out. We're vibing. You right, know, no, no triggering for this one. No, so, no Brian, triggering. So what? How how were the responses from the viewers um it was kind of half and half interestingly like half of the the responses i got were like john wasn't listening bronson was like making all the good points and then the other one was like bronson wasn't listening john was right so it was definitely split um so half of them had it right yes right correct half right. of them had it right i agree half i agree right. okay we agree on thank, something thank you guys yeah we, thank we, you guys we, we all know, know who the half we was know. the we right know. half was we Go all ahead. know um but then a couple days after that, we filmed our Patreon episode, which we discussed the Israeli-Palestine conflict and our thoughts on that. That was, we were on two different sides of it again, but we handled it much more civilly. I thought that was a really good discussion. Yeah, I don't think you were on a different side. I just think you were just trying to... No, we were on different sides in terms of... Um, discussion. No, but in terms of like American involvement. Oh, yes, that's we true. We were on very different. We were on opposite that's, yeah, sides. Yeah, that's true. Um, you said America should get involved in every... Right, we're not going go back. We're not going back. Right, to but if you want, that's a full hour long conversation on that, on our thoughts on that topic. So if you want to listen to that, it's on our Patreon, patreon.com/slash Daddy Issues Pod, and it, it was 
a, a really good civil conversation. I was I was very proud of us for for doing that. <clears throat> hey, when does our uh, when do we get our koozies? So koozies. we so we have hats for sale now. Koozies will be for sale, I believe, next week. We have, I mean, I guess I can. I'll tell you guys what they are. They're orange koozies that have a little picture of an island on them with uh, two like lounge chairs. One of them says John. One of them says Braun. And then it says I need my own island. And so I feel like that's a great summer Absolutely. vibe as well. And so true. So that'll be for sale as well next week. Um, Patreon members are getting a discount on that one because they came up with the idea. So Beautiful. thank you to, to our Patreon members. Was that Brie who came up with it? Yeah. Well, she, she yeah. Brie was like, we need koozies. That's a very important thing. So we, so we, did, so it. we did it. We did it. Um, all right. So let's, as if you're watching, you can see in front of us, we have a lineup of hard seltzers for you. You know, so let me ask you a question. So I'm looking at they're all the same shape, right? I get it. Who was the first one that came up with hard seltzer and came up with the bottle, the can right. size? Okay, so and then somebody said because because I don't know. I mean, that size now equates to like it, you think it, of seltzer. It, it branded you visually to say that's a seltzer. Yes, and okay, I think it's so very we'll clever. In, yeah, and again, it's more shows you how stupid people are because about about they could force things on people, but it is interesting to know. Who was the first one? Well, I'll tell you. We, we can. So I'm just, I'm just prefacing. I'm just. Okay. My thoughts are: Who was the first one, and who came up with that can size, and then anyone else just followed? Yeah. Now you make proceed. so. So we're gonna be we're gonna be ranking. So seltzers are a big. But wait, wait. For the but can I interrupt one more time? Sure. Okay. So um, this tier list, right? That's what we're doing. We're gonna be ranking them. Yeah. Ranking them. And the reason why we're doing it is because we did one with water. For those of you, let's say, are newcomers, just so you know, we had an overwhelming response of people, the demand of people. We wanted. did it with just regular, plain old water. Regular right. water. And how many people wanted, they wanted a tear list. There's only so many days in a month. That's at Bronson. How many people wanted a tear list on everything? Yeah, they want us to rank everything. everything. But I was like, I was, I figured this is a perfect thing to rank because one, summer. it's so summery. Everyone now, like. Hard Wait, seltzers. We're drinking the same cups. Oh, no, no we're pouring it. That's, right. Yeah, hard seltzers are like the king of summer drinks. It's just you associate summer and white claw. That's just like the thing. So I figured, and people are very particular about their brand of hard seltzer. Like people, it's very tribal. People are like high noon or die. Do you or like white Corona? Claw or die. Yeah. Okay, Corona is the one I like. I know. I mean, I mean, I like Corona but, beer. So right? have you? So never had. You've a, never had any hard seltzer. Not no, even a white claw. No. No. So. To answer your question, White Claw came first came out, and they were like the ones that started the hard spike. By seltzer. who? Who are they by? The, it's like a a smaller beverage brand. Good for them. They they're owned by. It says it on here. Somewhere, maybe on this side. All right, but good. Manufactured for, them. for Mark Anthony Brands. Good. Okay. Um, the singer. I don't know. Maybe. It might be. So they came out. Great name, too, they, by the way. They started the trend. And at first, three summers ago, it was viewed as a chick drink. Because yes, the, I agree the, the reason cal- why people calories. love seltzers is because it's low calorie and it's no sugar. So it's like water with a little bit of alcohol. It's, it's okay. a LaCroix with alcohol is all it is. Correct. But it's so low calorie that it was chicks were drinking it. That was like a, it was a girl drink for the summer. Right. For some reason, the branding of it, whatever... Maybe just because they taste good. It and became summary. huge. And then like two summers ago, it was everyone was drinking White Claws. Then because White Claw became so big. Now is there so an big, issue because it's, it's, it's called White Claw and not just Claw? Has <laughs> no. anyone raised you know that issue? It's White Claw? Because like a wave is called a White Claw, like the white right, water. But should we change that now? <laughs> um, so then everyone wanted to get in on the trend. And so every big beverage, beverage company started their own seltzer. No, it was right. It was right. I had it right. I noticed the calories on this one's more than the other ones. Yeah, this so is the least amount of calories. Yeah, so wait, wait, we'll we'll go through that. That's a, that's something we want to take into consideration. I never heard of high noon. High noon is a, is a one of the most popular ones, maybe the most popular that's besides nice. White Claw. So we're going to be ranking White Claw, Truly, Bud Light Seltzer, Corona Seltzer, High Noon, and Cacti. Never heard of Cacti. Cacti is an interesting one too because it was started by a rapper, Travis Scott. Who's a famous rapper? Okay, um, he just wanted to get on the trend, and so he just made his own great um, seltzer. So we're going to be blind testing them because there's a lot of tribalism between these. What What do you think you'll like the most based on you've never had them? Based on just branding alone, Corona. Okay, and then what do you think will be like the worst one based on branding alone? Probably Bud Light. That's what I would. 
I would think Bud Light would be the lowest, and I would think I would like High Noon and White Claw at the top. Okay. I always, I like Trulies the best based on what I like. But blind flavors, taste, they have flavor ones, don't they? Yeah, so we're going to be doing mango across the board. Mango. Because, because okay. they all share that, except cacti is pineapple. They don't have a mango. So we'll kind of know which one's the cacti based because it's pineapple. That, okay. But you're going to be like, oh, this is pineapple, whatever. Okay, is that how I sound? The okay. majority, we're, we're tasting mango across the board. That's also a very summery flavor, mango. They have different flavors like strawberry? They have like, well, I mean, White Claw and Truly now have like 20 different flavors. They have passion fruit and watermelon and kiwi. Black cherry might be my favorite. Black cherry is because that's like a Dr. Brown black cherry. And we yeah, like that. but not all of them have I would it. think the carbonation has to make you full. <clears throat> you feel no, bloated. I love White Claws. Right. I mean, or just seltzers in general. All so right, let's, let's start, start it up. Let's so, start it up. So let's start with A. A? We literally what are you, I, Canadian? We have them blind taste test, so we don't know which one we're trying. And then at the we end, we should have a, a patoon. What's that? Oh, like a spittoon? That's a what, that you drinking that much? I want a little bit less than that. Plenty. Thank you. Okay, so this one right off the bat is not clear. Why? It's supposed to be clear. Well, I mean, look. At the, why look don't at you the put rest. it over here? Look, you, th- this one is. You're right. Yellow looks like someone peed in it. Why don't you put it over there so we know? This one has a yellow. Okay. Tint where the others don't. Ooh, it's got a nice aroma though. Smells very mango. Really nice aroma. Okay. Ooh, I like the smell. Seriously, I might drink this. Oh man, what? That's great. Imagine that with ice. No, that that's a good. That's a good it's one. a real mango flavor. It doesn't taste. A lot of the times when I feel like I'm drinking a white claw, it's like battery acidy. All right. This is not All white right. claw. Honest, can't be. Honestly, that's good. You got a piece in yours. Is there something floating there? Yeah. What the fuck is it that? It must be from the cup. Can you go rinse the cup? No. We already drank out of it. Um, okay, that is great. I don't know how I... What that's going to f- be hard to beat. You I'm going to drink that? Yeah. Well, that looks like a bug. The fuck so is... Right, I've eaten bugs before. No, no. Don't drink it. Oh, that's disgusting. Ah. That was okay. the worm? So, so far, A is the, the dot, but there's no others that we we've tried. A, so far, A is the best. That's what we have. Okay. Now, shouldn't we rinse them? We should have different cups. No, no. They're all mango flavored. You're going to know right away. Okay, here's B. A little bit. Oh, oh are you fucking kidding me? Already drunk. No. <laughs> uh, enough. Go wipe that up. You have to go wipe it up. Sorry, guys. He spilled all over. All over. Literally, unbelievable. He has one thing to do, just pour it. Okay, we went into the studio. Bathroom. That's the private... Private bathroom in the green room. Did you, on the floor? And here, look, it's dripping right here. <laughs> right here, look, right here. And, right, and the floor. Unbelievable. Okay, so this one's B. This one's all, it's clearer, for Got sure. Got a nice, also a nicer No, one. this is way worse of a smell than the first one. This smells like, uh, like body odor a bit. Oh, uh, now you ruined it for me. See, yeah. but the other one smelled like mango. Okay, like okay. I opened don't, mango. don't, don't, don't sway me. I'm giving my opinions. Yeah. Don't say until I drink it. Not even Way close. worse. No, terrible. 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 I'll never <laughs> buy B. Do not buy B, whatever. Okay, it is. this B. Empty that out. That's disgusting. You poured too much Fizo. B is literally, it, it tastes like body odor. Okay, B is just not even worth it. It also, if I didn't tell you it was mango, you would have no idea that okay, that was mango. B flavored. is not worth discussing. Yeah, so literally. Let's move on. Don't drink any, it's sick. I'm not even gonna get sick. Throw it out. I'm gonna get sick. Yeah, Dude, it's gonna this make is it, yeah. bad. Yeah, that's this like is bad. A is now leagues above. Okay. So you're still drinking it. Mm-hmm. Why are you pouring so much? Because yeah. I'm trying to you get. You still drunk. have shit in there. Pour. I'm pour, trying to get drunk. Pour it back in B. I'm trying to get drunk. Are we idiots? You could have poured it back in. I don't. I want to drink it. What are you talking about? Even though it's like body odor, you said. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get drunk. Are you really? No, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> okay. Can you pour it in the cup this time? Yeah. Okay. So now C. Wow, you're pouring a lot. I just want a little bit. Enough. Okay, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. That nope. much better smell than that one. I don't like I it. I can already tell, by the way, I'm claiming this is White Claw. I'm claiming C is White Claw because it smells like a White Claw. All right, I don't like it, number one. One minute. Okay, you oh, go. No, I'm not going to say anything. Much better than B. It's smoother. Much better than B. This has a little... Um, it's not as mangoey as A. Mangoey? A is the best flavor so far. Okay. But this is a... Much, this seems a little syrupy. I, li- I like this one. It's not as good as A, though. No, not remotely close. It's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah. 
You can taste the artificial flavor in the in the exactly. End. Yeah. Like I still, I'm, it, it can give you a headache. Yeah, you just because, just because you know when you like that that fake like um, um, keto shit and then right. like a keto brownie. It's like whatever. just very artificial. Oh, I don't like that at all. I gotta rinse my mouth. One minute, one minute. I don't like that at all. Actually, it gets worse as you drink it. Okay, D. Disgusting. This one also Slow has a. This one also has a um, a color to it. Okay, just a smidgen. Enough. <laughs> I didn't even pour, and you said enough. Right. Okay, you're let's right. See. This has a like it has a as an off color. This has a wine smell. Okay, well this is this tastes like pineapple to me. So this Wait. is the cacti. Okay. Well, oh, that's what it's it pineapple. Is. Yeah. Okay. So. On. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Empty it back. Empty it back. Wait, what the fuck? Stop. Oh, Wait. I get. I'm getting. No, but I'm not getting. Can I have my cup? I'm not getting drunk. Being nauseous. Whoa! Wait. wait. Why is that? There's something off about that. It tastes, it doesn't taste like pineapple, first of all. So maybe no. it's not the pineapple one, but it doesn't taste like mango either. No, it's the pineapple one. There's something so that off That would make about me that. sick. That literally almost gave me a headache. No, it, like, I'm I have nauseous. A bit of a headache I'm nauseous, on. yeah. Why? We have two left, thank God. Why is that so bad? And why are you drinking it? Okay. Pour that back. That's out. worse than this one. That's worse than B. I don't think, I, B is the, no, B is the worst one. B is worse than that? B is the worst one. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god. E. Not that much. Wow, you're really going to town. That's that's a sip. Jeez. Right. Enough. It takes me, enough. It takes five of these to get me drunk. Like this is nothing. No, I don't like the smell. I don't, A. You know we should. So far, A is. We should have gone A last. Well, it was a mistake. No, they're all, uh, randomized. It was random. I know, but we. Did. It, it smells like mango. No, it smells like wine. It has a wine. It does smell like wine, but it is. You're, maybe you're just smelling the alcohol. It's like sweet alcohol, which is what wine is. Hold on. One minute. Don't say anything. I'm drinking now. That's good. I think that's good. It tastes like grape juice, honestly. Like white grape juice. It's a nice, subtle mango. Okay. It's smooth. This is, this is the. Other than, I wouldn't get this one. I'd get A if I knew the two. But if you had, this is the least offensive out of the other yes, ones. Yes, this one's easy to drink. If you're smoother. if you're by the pool it's smoother, it's smoother. and it's sunny out and 100%. this is cold, and this is very cold, refreshing. Correct. Pour that back in for me. I thought I you were cheersing me. Yeah, I'm cheers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> cheers, my brother. That's our okay, So that's E. I say okay. E is second. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Honestly, that might be the claw. This, <clears> but this I got to tell you this, but, but on a scale of one to 10 between A and E, a is a 10, E is a 7. A, a is, is a leagues four. above the others. Those are fours. Yes. Yeah. The, these two are ones. The pineapple and the, the body odor are ones. Wow. So I'm guessing that the one that we like the least, B, is Bud Light. That's my guess. Oh, okay. Nauseous. This is the last wait, one, wait. F. You going to drink it all? These would be good really cold. Really cold. Okay. That's enough. That's, that's enough. White Claw. The one we just had. Calling it right now. Tastes like it. So E is White Claw. That's my guess. Okay. F. Don't like the odor. Don't like the odor. I like it. It smells mangoey. It doesn't smell fake. No. It smells I don't like see. a real mango to me. See, I would like watermelon or something like that. They have watermelon. I can go get and you one. You can sip on it. One, one more. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. It's not the worst, but it's not it's good. It's not the worst one. It's not the worst, but it's not good. That's third. It's mid, it's that's mid third. range. It's third. Hold on, hold on. Let me try it again. Third. We have another one to do? No, no. Oh. That does not taste like mango at all. No. It at all. No, it's weak on the, but it's the third one. Okay, third to last, you mean. <clears throat> How many we got? Six or five? Six. I would have gone... Okay, so wait, before, before we find out what they are, A is leagues above the others. There's no comparison between A and the rest. No doubt. Not even close. E, e is, a cl- is, is good. Not a close second. It's not a close second, but it's a good second. Okay. I'm going to be happy if, drinking okay, E. If E is a 10, A is a 10, E is, e is a, a seven. 7. Then it goes like 5, 3, 1, 1, honestly, if we're ranking them. Yeah, I would, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's find out. 
Let's find out. This will be this will be interesting. This is guys. This is hard hitting. Wait, wait. Right why don't you go to a the last one? Okay, so you want me to start at the bottom? Yes. Okay, so the talking on a mic. So B, we said was by far the worst. Horrible, right? We said that that was absolutely uh, awful. You ready for it? Bud Light, Corona. What I would have thought was my favorite. Corona Seltzer, which is the lowest calorie. <clears throat> No, it's at not. ninety calories. Oh yes, yes it is. You're right. Corona was the worst. Is, was the worst. By far the worst. I yeah. will never drink a Corona Seltzer now. Not at all. Okay. What was the second? D was cacti. Which Travis was, Scott's one. All right. The rapper's well, highest one. calorie. Highest calorie. Highest carbs. Highest sugars. So you don't want that one. Period. So why even ever buy cacti? Right, so cacti's wrong. Don't do it. Okay. What was next? Third F. to last was F. Bud Light. I would expect it to so be the So actually, bottom. okay, that, uh, I'm glad the three, no, the three ones that are known as the worst, we rank the worst. So that makes sense. Well, I, w- I would have thought Corona would be Co- good. Corona is viewed but, as a shitty one. Okay, I did not White know Claw that. Okay, Truly. all right. Okay, so then now, my, wait, wait. So the top three now. I wonder what other flavors might be like. Yeah, they might be better. But the top three now, which are going to be either between Truly, White Claw, and High Noon is what everyone views as the elite three. Okay. So I'm glad that we also feel Confirm that way. Confirm it. And it was blind. But A was by far I'm elite. guessing, I'm guessing, it goes, this is in three, two, one. Three is Truly, two is White Claw, one is High Noon. That's my guess. Let's okay. see what, let's see what we right. got. Okay. So third best is C, which is Truly, which is I usually find my favorite. <clears throat> so I usually, you said Truly. I think it's Truly... Claw, High Noon. Interesting. Okay. I usually find Truly my favorite, so I'm glad uh, that looks interesting. Second best is E, White Claw. You're right. High Noon. High what? Noon Fuck is the a. best. But, but, but. Oh, wait. High Noon. Wow. High but, Noon. But, but leagues above. No, leagues so for above. Every, so there you go. We literally did the it's so line. That's this one. High Noon. Do you want me to get you the watermelon one? And you try I would it? like to try. Is it cold? No. Oh, but I'll, get, I'll, put it, I'll pour it over ice for you. I'll be right back. Talk for a second. Wow. But don't pour me a full... Rinse that cup. Pour me a small glass, but a lot of ice. So this is what people drink. I wonder what... Ma- Chicks love... I, I wonder... But who makes High Noon? Oh, the Mark Anthony guy? Oh, that was White Claw. Like, what makes this shit? So what do they talk about to say... Women should not drink alcohol beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. That's what it says. Maybe that's why all the people are fucking retarded. Too many people drinking while they're pregnant. I never heard of high noon. I really don't even know sugar added. I don't even know what these, how these things came about, but I guess it's an alternative to walking around with a beer can or whatever. And um, I guess the young kids, that generation, your generation likes it. So what can I tell you? But it's interesting, this tear test, I think... Wow, you poured me a lot, Ronnie Bo. There's our squeaky door. Cheers, mate. So this is what flavor now? That's watermelon, and I also got a passion fruit, so you can try that. All right, so this is what... I'm drinking watermelon and watermelon glass. Let me try it. Okay, smell that aroma. They know what they're doing. They know That's, what, a, that's a watermelon. No, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Interesting. Oh, high noon. You know what? I'll always have high noons from now on. They know what they're doing. It's a good drink. Taste that. Oh, shit. You got a cough. I'm not drinking it. No. that I have a cough. No. Nope. Oh, two weeks ago. Can't do it. Fuck. Here. Well. But it's warm. Can. It's warm. Nope. Fuck. All right, I don't no, need it. I also hear. You got to admit, that's good. Let me take a swig. A swig also, first. so satisfying. Yeah. yeah you got to get out more. Much better cold. Also, so the, the, wait. the look of this might be the nicest one. The okay, colors are nice. Passion fruit. Let me see if there's any passion. Don't love the aroma of this one. There's also a lime. I didn't grab the lime. I don't like this one. That watermelon might be the it's, best. It's That's better great. than a mango. Fuck. The watermelon's great. Ooh, the passion no, fruit's No, I don't cold, like the passion fruit. But no. it's, it's warm. But the watermelon one's great. Yeah. No, great. Like, I would drink that if I was sitting outside. No, that's a good fucking drink. And it's also, but it, I love it. High Noon Sun Sips, like, they know what they're doing. The branding is on point. Why? Why is that Sun Sips? What is well, that it's mean? just very summery feeling. Oh, High Noon? Like in the, yeah, like okay. the sun and it's High I Noon. Actually liked, I actually like the color, even. That's the what I mean. Like, color. They, it's 100 calories, gluten-free, no sugar, vodka and fruit juice. 
best serves cold. It says even on here. All right, two point wow. six grams. All right, I didn't. I didn't think High Noon was going to win. Okay, so but that was far and away the best. Okay, even the watermelon. Even the watermelon. 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 <laughs> the, too lean. Um, even the watermelon aroma is phenomenal. Yeah. No, it's great. Let me smell it one more time. I won't drink that it. I, I literally no, have. Sorry, sorry. Just because I have a cough. I was uh, sick two weeks. Sorry, ago. sorry. I'm Do you want me to pour you another one? No, I'm okay because I'm. I don't want to, you know, get drunk. <laughs> yeah, one high noon. Off, you're gonna oh, get off oh, for the chick. You're gonna trade. get smacked on but, one but high noon. Smacked, but yeah. it's gonna make me feel bloated. <laughs> no, that's what is good about these. Not beer. It doesn't make you bloated. It's just water with a little bit of alcohol. It's true. Beer does make you bloated. Oh yeah, I can't do beer anymore. It's that's why I literally pretty much only drink White Claws. Now it's gonna be high noons. It does have a color to it though. Which maybe is good, but but because no, but, it's real, it's no, not artificial. But the color, you drink out of a can, you'll never see the color. No, I know, but I'm saying the color might be a good sign. That, but that would not. That's not a negative or positive. No, it just is what it is. I right, right. So why? It's the only things. No, but clear? like, but like, if white claw is completely clear, that means it's all artificial. This they say has real fruit juice in it. Maybe that's they why they put it gives one the color. symbol in there. Fruit yeah. juice, so they could say it credentials. Wow. The okay, water, there it is. High noon. We're in the one's very good. Now our desk is a mess, but Should we clean right. that up? Want me to nah, clean up? No, nah, it's all right. I don't love the cups, the red cups up there. I, yeah, I we, should, we should move the red cups. Why don't we just put it in the bathroom? I'll just time. put them back right here. Clean it up, and we'll talk about our stuff. Yeah, a lot of shit. Do we have a lot of shit? No, a lot of shit on the desk, I'm saying. This is where we need you know, a production. Interestingly, it was, that's not surprising. That's what I, I would have thought if I ranked it myself. I would have said Corona, Bud Light, and Cacti are the worst. And then High Noon and White Claw and Truly. So a little Burke is sleeping right now. Yeah, because he's been up all night. <clears throat> we had an early flight in the morning. Real early. So Burke went out and partied and didn't go to sleep at all. You know, I, I, I feel like last night was a big moment for me. Why? A big growing, like I grew as a person last night, I think. Just put this on your side. Why, Bronnie? So I went out. I I went out Friday night, and I Ubered to Atlanta, like to the bars, because I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna drink." And then I, you know, Lyft is cheaper than Uber. It it's all it, no, not here, <laughs> but it is cheaper. But in it goes back, in New Orleans. It, it, it depends. Is. Like it depends okay. on the time of day. And when I say I Ubered, it can mean it means either Lyft or Uber. Okay. It's like when you say I oh Google that. Even if you're not using Google, that's what you use. Or give me a Coke, and you can have Pepsi. No. If yeah. I said, give me a Coke and someone handed me a Pepsi, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? No, I asked for Coke. Okay. Or, whoa, well, easy to kill. <laughs> or it can have a tissue. It could be a Kleenex. Yeah. Yes. Yep. But like saying I Uber there just means like I got a car there. I just got really drunk and tired. Okay. Good. <laughs> so I, I, but la- so also now I'm finding even a year ago, I could go out and I would in, when I lived in LA, when I was in college. We would go out, not really in college because I didn't really go out much, but when I was living in LA, I would go out Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. We would go out. We would like party. We would go to bed of, late. Did you party like a rock star? Yeah, we would okay. in LA. Um, so what you going to do? What? That's the song. So we can, I'm going to. You're talking about rock star by Nickelback? Yeah. I'm that gonna, song actually rocks. I like it. I like it's it. Like so so bad, it's like so bad, but so like, good. So what you, I want to listen to. What you gonna do? Yeah. All right, go Tell on. me what you want. Right. I, <laughs> I want need a, a credit card. I could, I could literally sing the whole song for you please right now. Please do not. I could please, literally sing the whole please song do not. for you. Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's something I should be ashamed of or proud of. I think both. I yeah. think it's a both. Nickelback is also that kind of band where you're I like, like you're ashamed that you like them, but you're also proud to like. Them. I'm not ashamed of Nickelback. All right, go ahead. You were saying so. You're proud of yourself. Um, I'm proud of myself. Because, like I said, a year, a year ago even, I, I would go out three nights in a row, whatever, and I was fine. Now, I honestly just, part of, I just, I guess it's me aging. I can't do that anymore. Aging? You're 25. No, I know, but literally, I can't do it anymore. I don't have the energy to go out more than one night in a row, really. I just don't. It's, it's hard now. I get it. So, last night, I was like, fuck, I still should go out. But it was the first time in forever. That I went out to a bar and I drove and didn't drink. Proud of you. And I was like, this was a good decision. When we left the bar, I was so happy that I could get in my car, go home, get into bed, and like no problem. Instead of having to like call an Uber, wait, and then I like 
don't sleep well because I had a couple drinks. Like when I have a drink, I don't sleep well that night. Just my body just doesn't sleep well. Did you have just as much fun not drinking? Yeah. Different. Not just as much fun or not not enough fun. It was just a different kind of fun. Well, welcome to my world. I do that all the time. But I was just like, wow, this was I'm very always driving. This was very adult of me. In a okay. good way. I think it's because good. I also was like, fuck, I have things to do on tomorrow. Like I have to do a podcast. I want to be like good for it. No, I think it, listen, it's so what instead I do, I'll just get drunk on the podcast. It's what I do all the time. Yeah. I think it's good. But is my desk clean? Yeah, it's good. All right. So I felt good about that and I was like, you know, maybe this I'm is a new um So maybe do one day a week like right. that. Or like something. and I I just don't feel the need to like go out and party as much as I did as I used to. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just <clears throat> any nice girls you meet? What you do last night? No, just hung out. That's another thing too. Like six months ago, I I would love like going out to a bar with my friend. We would go out and like going up and talking to people and hanging out and like hitting on girls and flirting and all that. Last night I was like, I don't even care to do this. Like I'm just want to hang out with my buddy and have a conversation. All right, but it's nothing wrong with going to meet girls. No, did of you course, find but, your person at the brunch? Or is that what happened, Ronnie? No, I just am like content doing my own thing, like not seeking out. Like, not actively seeking out. Whatever happens, happens. happens I get but it. when I when I first got back to Florida, and I was recently single, I was like, I would actively seek out, like, validation for women. You know, I would be like, oh, wow. Like, you know, it would feel great to, like, make out with a girl at a bar that I didn't know. Now that sounds horrible to me. Now I'm like, I don't want to do that. So it's interesting. That was six months ago. I was like, that's what I want to do. And now All I right. don't. All right. Maybe people, I just am. People change. Yeah. Different I think it was needs. also just like when you're out of a, of, a, of a relationship. To get back on the horse. You like, because you've been taken for so long. That get you're back like, on the horse. You are enjoying single life so much. Now I'm like, eh, I'm kind of, I don't need to enjoy single life as much as I did six months ago. Which I'm happy about. I'm glad that I feel that way. Good. Because it always like made me, not to uh, get TMI here, but like it always made me feel a little bad when I would like, meet a girl and do whatever with them, you know, like, and then a girl that I didn't know as well, like that. Well, don't give too much. No, even like making out with a stranger at a bar, it would always make me feel a little bad. Why? Just cause I was like, I don't know this person. There's no connection here. It would like make me feel a little, uh, you cheat like empty. Isn't maybe that's the right word or maybe not, but you know what I mean? Like, cause you're not that kind of guy that yeah. you're not a one night stand kind of guy. That's not your personality. No, you're more about intimacy and, and knowing them. And I just like want to know the person. And if I I'm going to engage in any kind of sexual activity or like intimate activity, what if it's kissing or whatever, like I want to know feel the it. person. You want to feel I otherwise it's it. like, I mean, I, 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 this might be a little crass, but if I'm going to like sleep with someone random, I'd rather just jerk off than like okay, that is a little crass. I don't think <laughs> I don't think you need to say that. I think it's a little bit much. I love you guys. I wish you could take that out of this and edit it. But um But, but you know what you I mean? Like I like, about I like that. having I like there to be a connection. I get it. You want to care about the person. I get it. Yeah. I respect that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think a lot of guys feel that way, but they don't accept like they don't want to feel that way. They want to just be like a man whore and sleep around. I don't think men want to be a man whore. I don't know. I think. I mean, think about like Bryce, not specifically, but like the college lifestyle. They're sleeping with different people every week that there's no connections forming. And I, I think they I, all th- say that they're okay with it, but deep down they're not. But I think that's a, just an immaturity thing. Yes, that's what I mean. Like, you're not mature enough to acknowledge that you want a connection when no, you're in. No, no, I just think that they're just, I just think they're. It's a different world today with friends with benefits and things like that. I just think that they're just more immature. Yeah. There are people that just only care about one night stands that have no desire to get connections in any capacity. I think that <clears throat> there's a something missing. Why, you know, there's, there's books written on people that have that men and or women that need to just have sex to sort of a conquer, right? And and I think and But that also is a masculine thing. Well, it's built into our DNA to but, really just want but, to have as much sex but, as possible. But Bronson, there's plenty of women now in today's day and age that are doing that too. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like how I said, I think people are in denial about it. I think women nowadays, especially young women, like college age and in their 20s, say that they want to just be 
casual sex, no commitment. No, I think but they, they actually don't. I think it's they say that way because they have to for the men. Because if they don't, right, then they, the men will find someone else. Correct. I think right. I agree with you. I think that they want to, or they think they're gonna be the one that by doing that's getting that. Guy. They'll get the guy to right. actually and, fall. And and newsflash, yeah. ladies. There is not a single guy out there that if you sleep with the guy in the first date, that will want to have a long lasting relationship with you. Not a quality guy. So no, no, not no. I'm telling you, newsflash. Yeah. Hey, if you're looking for a good relationship, do not give it up to the guy soon. Do not make it easy. Make him work for it. I'm not trying to sound difficult. No, but the reality, you're 100 percent right. No man wants to have a long lasting relationship with a girl that's either blowing him or giving it up right away. It's yeah. the truth. No, I. From personal experience, I won't get into details, but please don't. I've I've found that when if I'm date if I'm going on a date with a girl, if it becomes too sexual too soon, so you're like, turned off. I'm trying to be general here, you're right? Turn, if turn it becomes off. sexual on the first date, which I'm never gonna like deny, I'm never. And why would you? Right. So that's what I'm saying. But it always makes me lose interest. Yes. When a girl plays hard to get. It makes me gain interest more. Not hard to get in a way where it's like, but just when she's, if a girl is like, it's called self respect. Nice to meet you. Bronson. Like it was, I was great. I'll see you later. Text me or call me if you want to go out again. I'm like, oh fuck, now I want to go out again. But it's self respect. Yeah, it's like a bit of the chase of the game. But it's more than. But that. it's also like, oh, this girl, like, is this is a quality girl. Correct. Self respect. But then, but I'm not saying that a girl shouldn't be sexual because if a girl wants to have sex on the first date. I, I think that she should be able to. Be who because you if you want to be sexual, be sexual. Be who you want to be. But like the girl that I, like it makes me more interested if the girl is like, I'll hang out with you. Like we'll be, or even like, like I. But I'll, think about it. If you have a relationship with a girl, you know you got laid on the first time with her, you're probably saying she did that with every other guy. There's a part in your back in mind. Yeah, or in there mind. also though are some times where you'll meet a girl and there's def- there's just a connection. And so you'll want to. Like you feel comfortable. It I don't know. The, it explain, also always let, depends. Let, let me on explain the that. Of course, it's, it's fact by it's case by case. But you're not putting down the woman that does it. That's not what not we're at saying all. because they have as much right as anyone else does, right? As the as the man does. But from a male perspective, I'm telling you, ladies out there, or just our our perspective, because no, there are some no, guys no, that no, don't listen, care. From a, I'm telling you, from a male perspective, I'm 54. I have enough male friends. We talk about these things. If the girl is giving up right away. Right away, the guy's gonna have a great time with her, but the reality is the guy's not gonna want to date her long term. Correct. That's what but I'm a saying. lot of guys who are looking for one night stands aren't looking to date long term. Different story. Different story. But most people want relationships. Yes, most people do want relationships in general. Yeah, whatever that is. When you're when you're fresh out of a relationship, you don't want that, and it makes sense. But the majority of the time, people are seeking Correct. connection, Correct. companionship, all that. Hang shit. out with somebody. Yeah. I th- I think modern um, dating sex culture is a problem. I I, I think it's not well, I, beneficial I, to society. No, well, I think a big problem is the women are very promiscuous today. It's very different than when I grew up. It's a big yeah. problem, Bronson. The girls, I agree with you on that. The girls are so promiscuous. So we were in uh, this weekend visiting Bryce, and you got to see the girls dress. They they dress like clowns. I mean, literally, it's just their belly showing, and half of them are fat. Okay. They're just covering like. It but looks then like, again, that's another thing though, where it's like, we kind of agree with that though, where, like, live the life you want to live. If you're a little chubby, but, but you want, get it, but, but you don't care. No, I but you, I, I understand what you're saying, but but I'm saying something a little bit different. Meaning, they're trying so hard to be promiscuous and sexual that it's sending the wrong message. But and, 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 and I'm, I'm I don't know if that's the girl's fault though. That's what I'm saying. I think it's, they're not, trying to keep up with the guys, and it's like it's like an arms race. So if the if one girl becomes very promiscuous and sexual. And then the other girls don't keep up with her. She's going to be the one that wins. All the guys are going to sleep with her. No, I'm telling you right so now. I'm telling you up. right now, one hundred ten percent. I think the girl is better off not being promiscuous, not dressing so you. slutty or so sexy, and having some self respect because half the clothes they wear, it's like it's literally less than a bathing suit. Yeah. What they're walking out, and my point, and I got to tell you, it doesn't look fucking good. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I'm no. not talking about it from a weight standpoint. Where it doesn't look good, you look fucking. It cheesy. may start looking good after eight drinks, but you like listen, that's what it starts. I'm telling good. you, the girl's looking cheesy. The girl, the, it's, you're sending one message. That's all you're doing, and a guy might have fun with that, but a guy doesn't want that. I'm telling you, a guy does not want that. I agree. I agree. 
We're men. We could talk for. <clears throat> Listen, we can give our opinion for men. I'm a little older than you, right? And it's also we have different perspectives <clears throat> on this in a good way. I think we can. The well, fact we that agree. The fact that we are both in different places in our lives in terms of like being with women and we're agreeing on it, I think is shows a that man something. wants a woman that has self respect for herself, that doesn't give it up easy, and knows that he had a. When I say work for it's the wrong word, but he had to really work and a, to acquire to be intimate with that person yeah. and physical. And I'm telling you, the women do not know how to play the man. And that's a mistake. If you give it up easy, you're not going to be changing the fucking guy. He's going to have a great fucking time with you one or two times, and he's not going to have a relationship with you. Guaranteed. And it's not even about like the actual act of this, of sex that you're giving up. It's like it's just the the game that you play. When you're dating, I feel like if it's if it ends too early, right? Like the chase and the game and the flirtation and the back and forth. There like, is none with the girls today. If, it, if that ends exist. too early, then I lose interest. Like no. I like the back and forth, the building the connection, the getting to know you. But if I get to know you so quickly because we're having sex on the first night, I'm I'm not interested in keeping to get to know you. The girls today. It's not even about the actual the, sex. The girls so today give it up so easy and so quick and so are so promiscuous, so aggressive. They're the ones. It's just a different world today. Different world. Yeah, today. I, 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 I agree. It's a different world, and I think it's negative. I think oh, no. that that's I a know negative it's negative. Thing. I'm promising. But I also negative. don't think it's the. I don't think it's girl's fault. Is what I'm saying because, like, in a college environment, <coughs> if you're a girl, like, the guys in a college or like in your early 20s, right? Like, I went to the bar last night, and most of the guys you can look around and you can see most of the guys are there. Like, they're trying to talk to women. They're trying to hook up. So if you're a girl and you're looking to like date a guy and form a connection, but most of the guys are just looking to like have sex with a girl that night, you have no choice. You do but cho- to. You're wrong. No, I know, but as if you think as a girl, that's what I'm saying. Like you go to a bar, you want to meet a guy. The guys are looking just to hook up with a hot girl. There are plenty of those. Why you're not no, looking to hook up? No, I know, but in general, There's that's other, what it is. There are no, I know, but but those are wrong fucking guys. Wait, but what I'm saying and you're is in the wrong bar. The, you mind, go to, the mindset of 2021 girl cook, hookup culture is that if you're a girl, you're going out to a bar to meet a guy, not even to have sex with, just to date and talk. You th- and you're thinking the guy's here to hook up. And there's that hot chick there who's wearing the mini skirt with the fake tits, and she's gonna go home with any guy. You have to meet her at that I level. I do not agree. No, then that no, kind I don't of agree for you. logically, but I'm saying that's how girls think they nowadays. Need to change, but they, that's fucked up. They need to change yeah. their thought process. Yeah. Because you can go to but a bar. But also guys, guy hookup culture helps promote that. Because guys all talk about, we're like, we don't want commitment. We don't, and I don't think we believe this, but guys say this. Like, oh yeah, I just, I just want to like. I just want to be with the boys. I want to go to a bar, hook up with a girl, and then have not have to have her nagging me. Like that's what guys talk about. So then, when that's what's put out into the culture, then girls hear that, and then they think, "Fuck! If I have to get a guy, I have to. I can't be myself. I have to put out. I have to wear the slutty stuff because that's what they want. And if I don't do it, that girl's going to do it, and then I'm going home alone every night." I don't know if I agree with that. I hear you, but I don't know if I agree with that. I think these women have to have more self respect. They control it and run it, and and and, to, and if that guy wants to have sex with you in the first day, and you don't want to, then fuck it. It I, makes me like a girl so much. Like from personal experience over the last six months, I've gone on dates where a girl will be like, "Let's go back to my place," and then I've gone on dates where it's like I'm trying to get back to the girl's place just because, like, I get it. If there's a couple drinks, you and the girl's attractive and whatever, you're. Even though I know I'm going to regret that, this might be TMI, but even though I know I'm going to regret the decision the next morning, I'm trying to get back to her place. It's just like the, the, the male animalistic instinct takes over. You're 25 And years if you kid. find the girl attractive and whatever, <laughs> even though my rational brain is like, you probably shouldn't do this, you, you think with the other head, right? Like that's the saying. You're thinking with the wrong head, whatever. When I'm trying to get back and the girl shuts me down, then I'm like, oh, wow, I got to take that girl out again. Not even to just try to have sex with her, but it makes me you like, her. like her more. Yeah. I'm telling you, ladies, we're giving you from a guy's viewpoint, and I think we speak from a general standpoint of how men think. You give it up too easy. The guy ain't going to want to date you. I'm telling you right now, have a little more self-respect for yourself and your body. Doesn't mean you can't dress sexy. You can still do that and look good if you whatever and dress the way you want to dress. <clears throat> but you don't but there's have to- also a difference between dressing sexy and dressing slutty. 
I'm right. I'm not saying dress slutty. I'm saying you can still dress sexy and you can still do whatever. Do not give it up so easy. I guarantee you. And if the guy keeps pushing and and doesn't call you the next time because he didn't give it up, fuck him. That's not a guy you want to be. That's not the anything. guy you want, right? But also, I, I I'm learning now through. So I wasn't single for years, <clears throat> and now that I've been single the last nine months or whatever, it is, seven months, I'm learning what I want and what I don't want in terms of like single life. And I've definitely learned through trial and error that now I'm not even like I'm not even gonna bother if a girl if we're I'm at a bar talking to a girl and she's giving me inclinations that she like want like she's like, oh let's go somewhere else or whatever, I am like I know, but, done. but 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 if you now but six if, months but, ago I wasn't but, but, but now but, I'm but, but Bronson. But if you not every girl you meet has to so have be to be to have fun, we, or it has to be one I'm gonna I want to have a relationship with. No, but that's what I'm saying. Now I'm at the point where I don't I don't really care to waste my time anymore just to but hook up you, because that's what I said. I'd I'll just jerk off instead. All right, I, but but why? But what's the harm as a 25 year old kid? If the girl wants to go hook up, so no, you go hook I'm up. No, I'm telling you. I know what you're saying. I heard you because now just hooking up for me. The morning I wake up after just hooking up. I don't enjoy it. I don't like. I'd rather but you wait. enjoy no. getting that point. But that's what I'm saying. I'd rather just jerk off because then I don't have right, the negative you don't have to emotions. Keep saying that. You don't have to keep saying that. What I'm saying is I'm in a place now, mentally, emotionally, whatever, that I don't care to waste my time on meaningless stuff. I want to. I'm. Six months ago, I felt differently. I was like, I want meaningless stuff because I just came out of a relationship. Now I'm like, I, I just, I'm 25. See, you're saying you're 25, you're so young. I'm like, no, I'm 25. I want to meet a girl. Like, I don't want to, if I'm after two, three dates with a girl, I don't see her as my wife. I agree I don't, don't want to waste time anymore. I don't blame you. Because I want to find my wife within the next year or two. Because I, I want to have you. kids within the next three or four years. I don't blame you. So I don't, I don't care to waste my time anymore talking to a girl at a bar that I know Sure, I might go home with her, but okay. I know the next morning I'm not going to feel good about myself. I get it. So that's I don't. Very I, I want to feel good about myself always. No, I. It's very mature, and I and I and I and I do. I hear you, and I and make what you're saying makes a lot of sense. But that's also a new development. Six months ago, I did not feel that way. Well, you. But you know the expression "sorry, sorry, wild oats." Mm-hmm. You did that, so you got out of your system. You were, every weekend you were coming home at five in the morning. Okay, don't say that on the podcast. Why? Why? <laughs> because I just feel like. Oh, but you'd rather go home and jerk off. That's better saying a podcast. Well, I just feel like there are certain people who listen to this podcast who don't. I don't know. Never mind. No, but but basically, I'm just I'm I'm saying like there are bronchular girls who who are going to be listening to this episode who now <coughs> who I'm like dating in quotation marks dating these girls. And now they're hearing me say, like you say, yeah, Bronson was having sex with all these other girls. No, like I okay, just feel first, like that's first of all, you have but I wasn't. You no, but you have nothing to be ashamed of who you are. Number one, I wasn't sleeping but around all that much. But, right, but but on, <laughs> listen. But on the same token, you're a good person. You have a right. So if you're in your twenties, you have a right to have fun and do what you need to do. Yeah, and yeah. I also my mindset in going into my like last seven months of being single, my mindset was. I know that within the next year, I'm going to want to like find the person that I want to spend my life with. So I have to do everything that I can now so that I kn- I'm very sure of what I want and also that then in five years from now, I can look back and I can be like, I had my fun. I experienced what I needed to experience. I don't regret not doing something. Like I experienced what I wanted to. That was my mindset going into it. And I I'm happy it. I yep. had I get that it. as well. I get it. No, I think you did. This, right. this is a funny conversation to be happening. Why? Talking to you about my sex life. You're not really talking about sex life. We're not going to details other than what you brought up. Yeah. Which is pretty, now mom's going to listen to that, which is pretty fucked up. No, I know. It's odd. But that's also a thing that people like about this podcast is that we just say it how it is. I, I'm at the wharf last night. I met a fan. Um, he came up to me. Like, he just came up. He was like, oh, my God. I love the podcast. It's so great to meet you. So we were just chatting and hanging out for, like, an hour. We were just... Because I love like talking to people sure, who like the podcast. Because of course. if you, lo- this podcast is just me and you sharing our thoughts. So if you like the podcast, it's l- it's a high chance that we'll get along as people, right? Because if you like how we think, we'll probably get along. So I like talking to fans because they're usually people that I will will connect with. Commonality, yeah. So we were chatting, whatever, and he, he said he was like the reason I, I said something we or 
I was with another friend. So the three of us were chatting and like a, gr- a group of girls came up to us and we were talking to them and then they left. And I was like just talking to them, not even to like, I was just talking. I didn't even have any interest in like flirting with them. I was just being myself. And the guy, when they left, the guy turned to me, the fan, um, and he's, he was like, you know what I really, like I really like this about you and this is why I like the podcast is that you and your dad just have confidence behind everything you say. He was like, every word that comes out of your and your wow, dad's mouth, nice. you're confident behind and you're passionate about what you're saying. And I was like, it, that was, true, it was though. so meaningful to me. But and I was it's like, true, isn't it? I was like, that's so nice. But also what I said back to him was like, the, when he was like, he was like, everything you say you're so passionate about. And I was like, he, he said he was holding like a Corona. He was like, even like if you, if I gave you this drink and I was like, talk about this drink, you would be able to like talk about it in a passionate way. <laughs> and I was like, honestly, how I live my life is I just, if I'm not passionate about something, I'm not going to talk about it. So if I'm talking about something, I care about it. If I don't have something to say, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to have someone else talk about it. But if I'm opening my mouth, it means that I care about what I'm going to say. And he was like, I just really respect that I'm not that way. And that's why I like listening to you and your dad, because you both are that way. So I guess just that's like a long way of saying, I think even though it is weird that like we share these intimate details and maybe I shouldn't be sharing that stuff, but it's just like, that's who we are as people. You know, I don't care. Right. And I don't care. Right. So I think that's not the norm. Like people aren't saying to their dad, but dad, I like, it's weird when I wake up in the next morning in a girl's bed because I'd rather just jerk off. Like people aren't saying that to their dad. Correct. But we're just fully open. And I think that's what people like. And I think that I enjoy living that lifestyle now and I, enjoy I, and I respect that. it and I, and, I, and I love our relationship with regards to that and I think that people more people should I think most people also another reason why we have and I was very nice with that fu- so with that nice it meant so much to me <clears throat> but I think another reason why it I think a reason why we have the followers and the growth of our podcast is because we say what most people think but don't have the balls to say and I think a lot of people do do want to say these things for whatever reason, their relationship with their parents, their upbringing, so many different factors, the The, confident lack of confidence. They're they're worried about how it'll ostracize them from their friends. Whatever it is, whatever it is, correct. But I think that what people need to understand is most people think, you know, and act similar to what you hang out with people. You know what I'm saying? So, so say what you want to say, say what you want to say. It doesn't make a difference. Totally. You know, totally. So on that note, yeah. Right. Yeah. We should uh, let's end. Uh, and I think it's a, a nice, fun. Well, yeah. we we just wanted to. Last week's episode was very heated, intense, triggering, and then this week we're like, we want to kick off summer, hot dad summer. We want let's just have a light, fun, laid back, chill episode where we're just summer vibes and. But the two messages today: mm-hmm. one, ladies, you want to land a guy, don't give it up so easy, and two is people. Say what's on your mind. Say what you want to say. Don't be fucking afraid to say it. Life's too short. And and third, live up your hot dad summer with your hot dad summer daddy issues hat at Word daddy up. daddy issues the podcast dot com slash shop. Word up. It's a key. And next <laughs> week comes out the uh, the music video, the, the, the rap video. Yeah. You know what? Let's end it on the song again. Let's no. Play I want one hundred percent. One hundred percent. So guys, right, guys we're gonna end it on the song. Ronnie, we love, love you, you, buddy. Love you, dad. Guys, live up a hot dad summer. Enjoy it. Wear those cargo shorts with pride, guys. Just wear whatever the fuck you want, within reason. Actually, well, I don't want to look at certain. Things. Yeah, within reason. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, should I sit or saw in New Orleans? I didn't want to fucking see it. Ugh, fucking yeah. nasty. But but as long as you have your hat, your daddy's just hat, and your koozie, that's coming soon. You can do what you want. You can do what you and want. If I peel a problem, tell them to call John and Bron. Yeah, for real. All right. Or just play them this song. Made it by myself, I'm fine, man
I need to buy myself an island But I'll never buy a yacht Cause I got friends who got them Look at my whip and look at it real quick Because every year I get a new one From Aston to Bentley to Rolls Royce to Porsche While smoking a Trinidad Cuban Says she's vexed and waxed, okay I'm just trying to relax, go away Look at my hat, tell me what's that say Hot dad somewhere and I'm here to stay I see you staring at me in my Gucci jeans, no wonder Baby, I'm dressed to kill, so I'll bury you six feet under I stay ill, don't need a vaccine Ain't nobody else in the world like me I'm trying to chill, trying to have myself a hot dad summer If I meant it, I said it If I said it, I meant it I'm a menace on the media, don't ever forget it I'm going up like my credit Going up like my credit 2024, baby, I'll be the president Baby, I'ma pay a Patreon All that really means is I'll take no shot You can follow me and pay a Patreon While I'm shadow Ben on TikTok I see you staring at me in my Gucci jeans, no wonder Baby, I'm dressed to kill, so I'll bury you six feet under I stay ill, don't need a vaccine Ain't nobody else in the world like me I'm trying to chill, trying to have myself a hot that summer Hot that summer Hard that song, hard that song, hard that song.